welcome my friends. Uh, my name is Ismail and uh, today we have Shadi, the founder of British E Training Center, here with us. So Shadi, uh, welcome. Welcome Shadi. How is everything? Yeah, cool. Quite cool. Well. Right. So what would you like to talk about today? Um, well, actually, I guess um, um, I'd love to talk about uh, the phonetics and phonology course. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. All right. Great. So yeah, let's talk about this course. So uh, tell me, Shadi, who's this course for? Well, actually, the course is designed for English teachers, and I say English teachers, um, well, I'd say people who are studying English language at different faculties, I mean, the Faculty of Elson, Faculty of Education, Faculty of um, English Language uh, Teaching, you know, you name it. It is also designed for uh, practicing teachers and designed also for pre-service teachers. So it is actually um, suitable for English language teachers in general. Whether we're talking about undergraduates, we're talking about graduates, we're talking about pre-service, in-service. Um, one more thing I'd like to talk about. So what if someone who is not from the field and you would like to know more about the course or like to study the course, is that possible? I'd say there are some people who actually um, didn't graduate from um, faculties specializing in English language. Yeah. But but, but they went through what we call a career shift. Exactly, this is the point that I was talking about. So, because you know, like, you know, like in our career right now, there are people who are not graduated from like faculties of education or they, they didn't major in English uh, language teaching, but they started working as English language teachers. Uh, they took like some initial certificates like CELTA, TEFL and so on. So, would this be uh, a suitable course for them? Well, I would say, yeah, of course. I mean, if, if someone did a TEFL course mm -hmm. um, or um, a level five course like CELTA, CERTIS, or you name it, yeah, I mean, those people would be eligible to join the advanced certificate of phonetics and phonology, of course, yeah. So, uh, let's talk about the requirements for joining this course. So, what are the requirements if someone wants to apply for this course? If someone wants to apply for this course, what we do is that this person um, uh, sits for an interview and also a writing task. If this applicant is able to pass both the interview and the writing task, then you know um, this person is welcome on a course. Uh, we would love people to be at least at the B2 level. So if an English teacher is at the B2 level or more, then uh, this person is welcome on a course, of course. Uh, so the next question that I'd like to ask is uh, what's the course duration? Well, I mean, the advanced certificate in phonetics and phonology is, is kind of a long course. It takes up to 120 hours. Wow. So, yeah, I mean, that's... Um, that's pretty intense. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. It's a, it's a very good one. How will this course benefit candidates in their professional development? Well, I believe that's a very important question because um, one of the things that um, um, applicants uh, for different courses ask about is what would I do with this in the future? And I would, I, I would talk about two different things here. Number one, I would talk about um, what they will learn um, on the course. Um, and this is, I believe, the main benefit because the course um, covers um, wonderful areas in phonetics and phonology. And these areas would be very important for those um, candidates when they leave the course and want to move up to higher levels. Mm -hmm. So if you finish that course, for example, and decides to go to a level six course, um, something like Cert PT or something like um, Diptis or mm -hmm. Trinity College London or Delta with Cambridge Assessment English or join an MA program, then these principles that you would learn on a course like the Advanced Certificate in Phonetics and Phonology these principles would help you so much with your studies in the future. So this is academically speaking, but when we think about what might happen to those candidates proficiently speaking, well, I would say, I would look at it this way. When I look at a CV and then I see someone who got an initial certificate in teaching mm -hmm. and then also he, he's got something like the advanced certificate in phonetics and phonology, this gives me an impression as an employer that this is someone who's seeking his or her professional development. Yeah, that's right. This, this is someone who's got love for English language teaching knowledge mm -hmm. and it means a lot for an employer to have someone like that mm -hmm. um, on your team. Okay, so, um, so that's also um, another benefit 
professionally speaking. Mm -hmm. I will add to this um, the personal benefits of those teachers who would actually improve mm -hmm. their pronunciation That's through right. the course. That's you know, right. some people would discover that, oh my God, I didn't know that mm -hmm. part. Oh, as um, I didn't use to pronounce this word mm -hmm. this way. And this is something that they would learn mm -hmm. okay, on the course as well. So this is also an added value. Uh, so another question, uh, what's the course content? Well, we're talking about the course content. Well, the first part is kind of an introduction to the science of phonetics and phonology, um, where candidates are introduced to the main um, ideas and notions and terms related to this science. And after that, we get to the sounds, mm -hmm. and we study the sounds. And, and, and when I say we study the sounds, I mean theoretically speaking yeah. and practically speaking. Yeah. Right? And, and, and this practical side helps them so much in improving their own pronunciation. Right. And this part is divided into uh, two sections, one mm -hmm. that focuses on consonants and the other focuses on vowels. Now, another part of the course actually focuses on connected speech. Yeah. And we actually cover the main features of connected speech. And when I say the main features, these are the main features that you would focus on mm -hmm. when you're studying something like Delta mm -hmm. um, with Cambridge Assessment English or Dipti Source Trinity College London. So we're talking about the main stuff, right? And once we're finished with connected speech, we move to areas like um, also stress, intonation, word stress, sentence stress. We focus on that and also we move to accents. Yeah. And we focus on two main accents on the course, the American accent and the British accent. This is a kind of a general overview of the course content. So what's the mode of study for this course? Well, actually, we have two modes of study, mm -hmm. right? We've got um, a fully online a course for the fanatics for fanatics and phonology and we've got also the face-to-face -face mm -hmm. version so we've got these two modes of study and of course it's because of COVID you know yeah um, yeah recently exactly. the online version is so popular however we've got both um, ready at the center okay great now, what teaching techniques do you follow on the course um, it's because um, mainly we're a teacher training mm -hmm. uh, school, so uh, we follow the modern techniques of teaching on that course. Mm -hmm. So um, we follow, of course, uh, the main principles of the communicative approach mm -hmm. and also principled eclecticism. So we actually take the best from every method and mm -hmm. we integrate it um, into that course. So it's not that kind of Lecture. Yes, yeah, this is what I was going to ask about. So, uh, in terms of candidates, are they going to be passive listeners? Are they going to participate in something? So, uh, how's this going to be like? Well, I would say it's a very communicative course. Uh -huh. I mean, candidates will be working in pairs, groups, you know, sharing, mm -hmm. you know, uh, plenary. Um, Group work, pair work. So it's 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 just um, so it's not like lectures or anything. No, no, no. Yeah. It's a very very interactive course. That's They're not going to be listening to lectures. No. Yeah, that's, that's great. Good. That's great. So another question. So we've learned uh, about the content, the mode of study, and everything. So what about the assessment? So how will candidates be assessed on this course? Well, well, I would say uh, there are three main exams. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, and, and these exams happen at different times during the course, <coughs> right? So, and of course, the most important exam is the final one because that would cover everything that has been studied on the course. Mm -hmm. So, total three exams, right? That's including the final one at the end. Yes, yes, okay, that's, that's great to know. That's yeah. great to know. So, the next question. So, uh, what about the certificates? What certificates do candidates get after the course? Well, um, I would say there are two main certificates that candidates get on after they finish the course. Mm -hmm. And of course, after they pass the course. Yeah. Say, it's a pass-fail course. Exactly, yeah. Right, so it just don't want people to think that this is something that you get, you know, uh -huh. um, automatically, you know. Uh -huh. uh, so I would say a British certificate. Yeah. Okay. And also they get London Teacher Training College uh -huh. certificate. Interesting. Yeah. So, two certificates. Now, that's great. Uh, we've learned so much about the course. Can you tell us a little about the tutors? Well, I, I would say um, we've got a wonderful team of tutors at British. Uh, I mean, uh, it's because um, 
we are um, um, a course validated provider for both um, Cambridge Assessment English and Trinity College London and, um, and, and London Teacher Training College. So um, all trainers um, at British are certified to deliver big courses. Mm -hmm. And when I say big, I mean international ones. And actually those are the same uh, tutors who would be teaching on the phonetics and phonology course. So uh, when it comes to tutors, we can guarantee high quality delivered to all candidates. Well, that's great. Uh, so finally, uh, thank you for all this information. If someone wants to apply now, what should they do? It's not that difficult. All what they need to do is look at this box right on the screen where they can see our emails and contact numbers and through these emails and contact numbers, they can get to us and we can help them with the application process. And of course, we've got two schools, one in Cairo and one in Donetsk, Egypt. And of course, we teach all our programs online as well. So um, you're welcome. Yes. Well, uh, thank you so much for this uh, lovely information about the course. I thank you for all this information. Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, watching this video. So if you're interested now, please apply and uh, good luck with the course. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye.